Hi, and welcome to the Substance Designer UI Basic videos. In this video series, we'll give you an overview of all the UI elements in Substance Designer. Admittedly, these might all be a bit daunting. There's quite a lot to look at and to click on. So this video series will take you through what all these different windows do. It's not supposed to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to create something, but rather what does everything do so that you have a good basis to start building your own things with. We'll be talking about the Explorer window in which you create and manage your files, the Graph view in which you build your actual node networks, the Properties view in which you set the properties of individual nodes and graphs, the 2D view that gives you a preview of individual nodes and their outputs, the 3D view which renders your full materials, and the library which provides resources to build your node networks with. Now, all these separate windows can be moved and uh, changed individually. For example, if I click this undock button, which every window has, you can see it's the middle one, the two squares. It undocks a window and you can move this around freely. For example, you could use this to move it over to your second screen. If you click the dock button, which looks like a, uh, a rectangle and two squares, it docks it back and brings it back into view. If you ever happen to close a window uh, accidentally, you can always go to Windows and click Reset Layout. It'll ask you if you want to restore it, click Yes, and your view is completely restored. Additionally, there is an extra button here, a uh, pin button, which enables persistence. And this one allows you to have multiple versions of the same window open at the same time. So if I click this, for example, for the 2D view, and I would open another one for the normal map, it opens a second tab in that same window that allows me to switch between two previews and have both of them open at the same time. And you can do this for any window except for the library since there can only be one. So you can have multiple explorers, multiple graphs, multiple properties, multiple of anything except for the library. Again, if things get messed up, go for reset layout. Now, additionally, you can toggle windows on and off individually in here. And you'll see that there are two windows here, console and dependency manager, which are not enabled. We won't be covering these in this video series, but there is a separate video for the dependency manager. So you can look at that if you're interested. Now let's get started.